Hello and welcome to a brand new Unsourced World unboxing. Today we're taking a look at the brand new SH Figuarts Venom movie figure, specifically from Venom Let There Be Carnage. The designs from the first film to the second film are basically the same. Uh, the only thing that people have kind of noticed, the one for Let There Be Carnage, Venom's head is slightly bigger um, than the first films. But you know, it's one of the few Venom figures we've ever gotten for the film. Uh, I don't know what was going on with Sony or Marvel or Hasbro, but for the longest time, the only way to get a Venom figure that was based on the film was in the Walmart uh, Deluxe Combo gift pack, where you got the, you know, the Blu-ray digital code and also a small little five inch retro uh, style figure, which I'll put out later. And then like two years later after that, we finally got the Marvel Legends movie figure, which is fantastic. I think they did a whole new sculpt for it and they've reused this body for other things since then, but it is a wonderful Venom figure. And also like a $600 Hot Toys, which I'm, I'm never gonna get. That's way too much. That I think is probably the best looking because Hot Toys is able to really get more fine tuned things. And that, that Venom figure I think has something that a lot of the other ones are lacking, which is the bulk. Uh, Cause Venom in the film, very stocky, very big kind of uh, build. But enough about these. Let's see what um, the figure arts has to offer. So here we have it mostly have its package. I just want to pull out so you can see how uh, it's all separated. We have three different heads. One's ready on the body, two different pairs of hands, and one pair ready on the body. Um, a new back panel that has the tentacles, and then a single tentacle with the kind of a uh, item head attached to it that you can't really attach to anything. It's not something that plugs in, um, but uh, we'll see how that works later. And I just want to get to the box one more now. You have this nice kind of reflective foil on the back. And then on the sides, you have this nice foil embossing of the Venom name and also, you know, the movie. And then also is the movie's logo, or at least the kind of signature Venom eyes are also embossed there. It's on the next side as well, as well as a nice little pose of the figure. Uh, I like the font here. It's not like the regular Venom font. Obviously that's on the front. And it would have been nice to have that regular Venom font be this embossed kind of foil. But you know, it's still nice, it's still nice. Anyway, let's get Venom himself out of this um, tray and get him all set up. All right, so here we have him out of the package. And I have to say a couple of things. Um, now, HS Figure Arts, they're really well known for, of course, having these very poseable uh, fingers with a lot of articulation points, like an insane amount of articulation points. And that's kind of like their appeal. And you can see that he's got a lot of fluidity in his movements, uh, you know, with the uh, articulation points at the head. He even has a little bit of a covering on the back. So he has a little more head range. He looks straight up <laughs> like that and it's really good. And obviously he has uh, butterfly joints at the chest, double jointed elbows, an insane joint uh, construction at the hip section with his crotch articulation right there a sort of belt piece to keep it all separate and keep it all concealed. Uh, thigh twists, double jointed knees, and all that. Like he's he's got a lot of fluidity in motion. It's, you get into some really articulated and really sort of a kind of elegant poses, you know? So he doesn't really uh, ever come off as stiff, but I will say though that in order to get all this done, does leave him feeling a little bit lightweight compared to the Marvel Legends, which doesn't have as many articulation points. This feels a lot more kind of like I'm having fun posing it, that it is a lot more, um, there's a lot more ease there. I don't know. This just feels a little more precious compared to that one. Now it is fun to handle in its own way. Again, healing points means that you can get into some really fun poses with a lot of character, a lot of personality, a lot of attitude, um, you know, really kind of give off that kind of uh, Venom vibe because he's a very kind of fun, very kind of, you know, rambunctious character. So, you know, it's nice that you can get into all these poses that just scream Venom in any kind of way, you know, lots of lunges, lots of crouching, lots of, art, you know, gesturing with the claws. Now, the big thing that you probably notice is that this figure is a dark navy, like not even that dark navy, it's, it's just navy. And you can even see it closely around the eyes where like the eyes have this kind of blue, uh, kind of tinged to the uh, kind of milky white. And meanwhile, all the other Venom figures are kind of the standard symbiote black. Uh, and that, that threw me off guard. Like I wasn't expecting a, a, a Navy Venom. Uh, now it's not bad. And I think that it, you know, it, it's, 
it just doesn't look like Venom because all the symbiotes are all color coded and Venom is not the blue symbiote. We've seen, we saw the blue symbiote in the movie, in the first movie, and that wasn't Venom. He died. Uh, Venom is the black symbiote. Uh, so this, that's kind of strange. Um, maybe it was just the availability of plastic or I wish he was like that, uh, that more darker color, but it does help to differentiate him from the Marvel Legends. So if you like a more kind of navy tinge to your Venom, then you're not getting like the same figure twice, you know? So that's nice. Now, the accessories, let's start off with the big one, and that is the tentacles. Now, Venom, about him, um, this, this is the only figure to come with tentacles. And that's just strange. That's really strange. Like the retro um, Walmart Venom figure, that five inch one came with a kind of hand weapons that kind of protruded like tentacles, but wasn't really anything that special. The Marvel Legends Venom came with only this um, and no tentacle parts at all. Although there were third party custom tentacles that you could buy online, but like they're, I think they're on, on a made to order basis and they're really expensive and hard to find. Uh, so I haven't really worried about that that much, but I don't know how you can have a Venom and not have tentacles. Like you need that kind of thing to complete the look. And like, that's really great. Like they're articulated as well at their base point and they have one hinge. So you can have them curl around Venom. Uh, and I don't know, it, 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 it's something you need. I don't know why you make a symbiote without tentacles or even sell one without tentacles. Do I wish there were more? Do I wish that they had their own kind of interchangeable little heads or parts? Yes. Uh, because right now they're just like these, you know, kind of little pointy things and they don't really have that much uh, style to them. Like I wish they would look more webby or something like that. I think that the carnage that's coming out um, has a little bit more going on in terms of their, their look and design. It looks like he has like sticks protruding from his back, which, I, you know, it doesn't really evoke that much. It doesn't really have that much impact, but it's nice. And I'm glad that he has them at least for once. Now onto the other um, accessories. One other thing, the head comes off really easily, uh, like really easily uh, because the head peg is, the neck peg is ridiculously tiny and I don't think it has that much um, force to it. And also the, that joint in general is very, very fickle, keeps sliding around. So there we have more classic Venom look, the big protruding um, tongue coming out. And that's nice. Um, let's compare him one more time with the Marvel Legends Venom. And yeah. And so, yeah, let me see. I think that they're of the same scale. Like they really do match up uh, really well in terms of proportion and size. So I do think that the Marvel Legends Venom kind of wins out in terms of the insane uh, tongue. But yeah, obviously you need a tongue with Venom. <laughs> but even better than that, he comes with a secondary head that has a kind of, he's ready to eat you maw. Let me get this peg on. And it doesn't even snap in. Like, I feel like that's such a loose fit. It doesn't even snap in. So you don't even know how hard you need to push. Um, there we go. He has like this insane maw. You can see that from the cover box art. It's, I think it looks a little bit too goofy. Like unless you have a character who's kind of already in the process of eating, like someone with a really small head, it, it's, it just looks awkward. Um, makes him look kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna use that. In fact, for this one, I don't think I'm gonna use the, um, the open, uh, the regular open tongue head. I, could, I think that the uh, regular Marvel Legends already kind of has that one sealed. And I do actually like the look of the mouth on this one. I do like his grin. That's one where I think that this one probably wins out. It, it just looks a little more like a big stinker smile than it usually does. Now, as for the last accessories, he comes with two other pairs of hands, two punching ones. Okay, now that is a connection. I wish the neck had something like that going on. And also a couple of pointing hands, which, um, yeah, you know, why not? Why not? It's uh, kind of a get a look at this guy <laughs> pointing finger. It, it's really strange. Um, does Venom point a lot in the in the second film? I don't think so. 
Uh, but again, it, I think Venom is one of those characters where you had to give him a lot more personality. And I think that that was a great decision to give him the pointing finger. It gives him a little more kind of like a brash kind of look like he's like mocking someone. And that perfectly fits Venom's kind of whole vibe. Especially if you want to end up getting the Carnage, that would be fun to have him point at Carnage, have them side by side. But right now, side by side with the Marvel Legends movie Venom, um, I think that works. I think that <laughs> that actually does work a lot. Like he has his tentacles coming around here, all you know, just there's paired up like a duo. I really enjoy that. And the last accessory, which I'm gonna move this aside for, is that you have this <laughs> tentacle head of Venom on a stick and base that you would then pose behind the figure like so in order to make it look like Venom is talking to them. Um, now, I mean, okay, but it needs to be like a really small figure because it, it has to be looking um, kind of over their back, like on the shoulder, and the base isn't um, that long enough to go to there. You can see there's a lot of clearance here. So it'd be like a really tiny figure, like maybe like a five or barely six inch figure um and also the connection isn't really that sturdy as well it mentions two different connection points in the instructions um this is for like the regular kind of stand in the middle right there but there's also something for tamasi stage that goes into this port uh, it's nice uh, i wish that it had some sort of peg or some sort of enclosure or some sort of grip so you could clip in under uh, any kind of joints uh, armpit but that maybe that's probably way too much engineering for what is just a simple silly uh, accessory which you know is fun and if there was ever a Tom Hardy figure you could recreate some of those scenes from the film and so let's move all these back I just want to bring out the retro Walmart um, Marvel Legends figure which um, I still think it's really good. Like, I think this looks probably the best out of all of them in terms of proportion. Like I said, very stocky, very kind of thick kind of figure uh, because Venom in those movies, he's, he's got a lot of mass to him. And one thing I noticed right now after kind of taking him out to um, compare him to these guys, he's the one with the ultra wide mouth. So if you wanted to like, if you had this and you wanted to have him like really kind of set up as the uh, fake arts figure, that's the head you would use. And I, I really hate having pulled the head because again, connection is so finicky and it never yeah, slides way too far off. All right, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Getting the neck on is the absolute worst part. It takes so long because that neck doesn't want to keep still. And so you're continually trying to readjust where the peg is. Uh, but yeah, if you want to have these two, like as a set, as a pair, the tongues are moving in different directions, but the proportion of the mouth is exactly the same uh that's fantastic i feel like these are a nice little trio to have overall um and yeah no uh is the actually should we watch the best movie version of venom figure it could be it could have been uh, a couple things keep it from like really being that um entertaining and fun i think that the finickiness of a couple of the joints and how the joint system works uh, kind of detracts from it a little bit uh, the neck in particular I think that the navy blue coloring that isn't really that dark I, I call it dark to begin with but no it's it's just very noticeably navy blue um, is distracting especially since it's going to be like a movie version of Venom so I don't know why it isn't black uh, and also a lot of the accessories while fun they still feel like half measures like to have this be like a a proper Venom figure and so these feel like the compromise and like hey look at me you can, you can get like a he's screaming backward kind of thing and he's posable enough to have that be something that is doable which isn't something you can do with the Marvel Legends which I still really enjoy I think it's fantastic um I do like that the kind of white line um in, uh, design of the movie is embossed and fully painted while this one is just printed on uh, there are some slight um, moldings there but they're more like guidelines and the printing of the white lines isn't really uh, matching up with it a lot of time so you know it's, it's good execution um, it's a Venom figure for sure 
but it's not quite there, at least in terms of capturing the essence of movie venom. Now, am I gonna get the carnage? Maybe. I was kind of hoping this would really sell me on getting the carnage because like I was gonna get this one and like if this one was fantastic then yes full speed ahead on carnage but I'm gonna mull it over carnage isn't out until like July um it's only like 30 bucks more than this but it's still quite a hefty uh price difference especially for a figure and I know I'm gonna have to sit with this one for a little bit <laughs> got that pointy finger it's so ridiculous um, so anyway, I gotta give this one probably like a 7 out of 10. It's not fantastic. It's not something that I think really takes advantage of the movie and all kind of like the stuff that made the movie unique. Um, but if you haven't had a Venom figure and if you missed out on the Marvel Legends Venom, which is now going for probably insane prices on third party, this is a nice one. Comes with a whole bunch of accessories and it's you know, worthwhile enough. <laughs> but god damn, I wish it wasn't blue. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Is this a Venom figure you're going to pick up? Have you gotten any of the other figures? Like the Walmart uh, retro figure, the Marvel Legends um, figure, or even the Hot Toys? And how do you think this compares to them? And are you going to pick up the Carnage? Because, you know what, I'm still on the fence about that. I think it looks fantastic, but after seeing a couple of these things, I don't know. Still on the fence. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great one, and see you again next time.